Praia. At the Alpha Visa, take a flight with us. Welcome to Praia. Have a nice day. Your flight and the next day. Reflecting on our visit to Lombok, I'd like to share some background on the history of that project and what, what's happening there now. So we started in Lombok in 2016 in Gili Maino, a, small, a very small school on one of the islands off the mainland. And we continued there until 2018 when there was a massive earthquake that disrupted much of North Lombok and all the Gilis. After that, there was an incredible emergency response, which we were part of, a reconstruction phase, and then as things returned to normal, we were able to expand our work in the Gillies. So we went, ended up in all schools in the Gillies and a couple of mainland schools. kamu sudah bisa berenang. Our concept was that the impoverished people on the mainland and on the Gili Islands all had the potential to be employed in the tourism industry. However, their lack of education, literacy and spoken English meant that they were not engaged in any of these activities. They might have worked as boatmen or as porters, but that's about as far as it went. Don't forget to lock the door. You is no. My name is Kairun Isadwi Salsia Bila. You can call me Bila. I am from Lombok. I live in Tembobor. I am 12 years old. As time went on, we received a grant from the Australian government which enabled us to expand our teaching, uh, particularly on the mainland. And as of now, we have 14 teaching facilities in North Lombok. There's three Gili school, the three Gili schools, each of the Gili Islands. We've got mainland elementary schools, mainland junior and senior high schools. Four of the facilities are madrasas, that means they're traditional Islamic schools, and the balanced schools are government schools. Thank you, Thank you.